After giving the 10-year-old to his grandmother, teen mother Janelle Evans' ex-husband Nathan Griffith will finally be able to see his son Kaiser again. Although Kaiser's father still resides in Las Vegas rather than Tennessee, where his son resides, this is anticipated to change in the upcoming weeks, a source with knowledge of the matter exclusively tells the U.S. son. He has been trying to get his probation relocated there for Kaiser, and it appears that his relocation has been authorized, the insider added. I don't know why Janelle was saying that she moved Kaiser there to be with his dad, but Nate isn't in Tennessee yet. They also mentioned that after Child Protective Services became involved, Janelle sent Kaiser to Tennessee. After Nathan allegedly strangled his sister in 2023, he is currently on probation. He was accused of strangulation battery. Nathan, 37, didn't start trying to get his probation transferred to his grandma until the 10-year-old moved in with her. Despite Nathan not being there yet or having taken any official steps to move his probation there, at least not until after his kid was moved, the Teen Mom 2 star previously stated that she transported the 10-year-old to his grandmother's to live with his dad. The informant went on to say that Nathan, who had just been transferred from an inpatient rehab facility to a more mild outpatient program in Vegas, was conflicted about returning home with his mother and son. Nathan feels like he wasn't ready to make these big decisions for Kaiser and wanted to keep focusing on his rehab and recovery since he's made some good progress, they stated. But in the end, he made the decision that he feels at ease returning to live with his mother and believes that it would be beneficial for him. He now sees Kaiser's move as a possible blessing in disguise for both him and Kaiser, said one insider. Nathan was contacted for comment by the U.S. Sun. Following a slew of incidents with authorities in her new area, as previously reported by the U.S. Sun, a source exclusively disclosed that CPS has once again become involved with Janelle's household. An informant claims that on August 31, CPS learned that the Teen Mom star's manager-turned-boyfriend had called 911. He accused her of hitting him all day and informed the operator she had up to 12 drinks during the call, which was reviewed by the U.S. Sun. In addition, two incidences involving her 15-year-old boys, Kaiser and Jace, at their schools in recent weeks were reported to CPS. As the U.S. Sun has exhaustively covered, Janelle is well known to CPS in her native state of North Carolina. According to the source, CPS involvement caused Janelle to send Kaiser to live with his grandmother in Tennessee. According to that insider, the 10-year-old was unable to continue attending school because of an incident that occurred there. To preserve Kaiser and Jace's privacy, the U.S. Sun is not revealing the specifics of the events at their schools. According to the source, CPS visited Janelle's home following the incident at Kaiser's school and put a card on her door requesting that she phone them because she wasn't home. A second source, however, claimed that a few weeks prior to the event at Kaiser School, there had been an alleged incident at Jace's school. The U.S. Sun was informed by the first insider that CPS has communicated with Kaiser's grandma, Doris Davidson. It's my responsibility to make sure Kaiser is shielded from all of this negativity, Doris stated when asked for comment. Kaiser no longer needs to read disparaging remarks about his parents because he can read already. I refuse to partake in mudslinging and measures to destroy one's character, even if I disagree with their actions. Due to child confidentiality laws, we are unable to provide comment, CPS informed the U.S. Sun. August, Janelle's former manager who is now her boyfriend, told the U.S. Sun, well that's completely not true lol. The reason I wanted Kaiser to be with his father is because Kaiser is at the age where it's important for him and his father and his father's family to spend time together," Janelle told Celebrabuzz earlier this week, acknowledging that her middle child was living with his grandmother in Tennessee. Nathan could use some time with his son, and Kaiser adores his family. As previously reported by the U.S. Sun, Nathan continues to reside in Vegas. 
After separating from her ex-husband of six years after he reportedly strangled her 15-year-old oldest son, Jace, the teen mom two actress relocated to Las Vegas from her birthplace in North Carolina. In October 2023, David was first charged with misdemeanor child abuse, but following a grand jury indictment, the charges were increased to felony in January 2024. David has two other children with two different partners, and he and Janelle have an eight-year-old daughter named Ensley. Jay said to investigators that David strangled him in front of a neighbor's house on September 28, 2023. The teenager fled his reality star mother's house for the third time following that purported event. Following the purported incident, Jace was taken from Janelle by North Carolina Child Protective Services. Before CPS abruptly abandoned the case in early 2024, the teen was in custody for about six months. Janelle found herself in a difficult situation when CPS returned custody of Jace to her. A restraining order prohibited David from being around the teenager while he was still residing in their marital residence. Janelle filed for divorce shortly after the 36-year-old father of three moved into the couple's boat that was docked at a nearby port. After being married for six years, Janelle ultimately filed for separation. Before she took the shot and ended their relationship, the turbulent couple had numerous 911 calls and restraining orders throughout that time. The reality star is now requesting primary physical custody of Ensley from the court after being temporarily awarded sole custody of her 